Let's discuss Weighted Average Cost of Capital, or WAC, which at first appears to be an intimidating formula, but it's quite simple when we break it down variable by variable. And I want to highlight two things. So you can think of this formula in two components. This one right here, this is the equity side, and then this over here, this is the debt side. So when someone owns a business, um, there's basically two ways that they can secure more funding. They can either get money from equity, which means they get cash in exchange, give someone else ownership, part ownership of the business. That's what stocks and equity are. Or they can borrow money in the form of debt, which would mean, let's say, going to the bank to get a loan. And that is the debt side of this component. So weighted average cost of capital is just trying to find out the average cost of capital from the firm when we consider both the equity and the debt. Now let's go variable by variable to really understand this concept. First, we need to look at return on equity, which is this highlighted red RE. And we can make the assumption that if someone were to own money in our business, they would expect an annual return of 7% based on the risk they're taking. Um, but then we need to know what is our return on debt, this highlighted blue RD. Um, and this should be below the 7% because in the event of bankruptcy, um, the debtors actually get paid before the equity owners, and so they're taking on less risk, and hence they get less return. Um, now we need to consider tax rate, and let's just go with 30%. And the reason tax rates in this formula is because when you look on an income statement, the interest expense that you pay gets taken out before the taxes that you pay. So your taxes are actually reduced due to the interest expense of the debt. And that's why it is a benefit in this formula and it lowers our cost of uh, capital. Um, so we also need to consider the value of equity. So let's just say hypothetically that this business has $10 million of equity ownership and $20 million of debt. So they've raised about twice as much money through debt as they have through giving out equity ownership. We can use that to calculate the V component of this formula, which is just gonna be the sum of the value of the equity plus the value of the debt. Now we need to find out what percent of the funding of this company is in equity, which will just be equal to the total equity divided by the total amount of equity plus debt. And we find 33% is in of our funding is in equity. And we need to find the percent of funding that's in debt, which is just the 20 million divided by the 30 million. So now we have all of the variables we need to cal calculate weighted average cost of capital. So let's start with the equity piece of it, which will just be equal to the return on equity of 7% multiplied by the weight of our business's capital that is in equity. And so that is completely covers the equity side of this calculation. And then now we need to do the debt side, which would start off with the rate of return on debt of 5% and multiply it by one minus the tax rate. So you can see that this is actually lowering our cost of debt in this formula. And then we'll multiply it by the percent of uh, funding that is in debt. And there we find that our weighted average cost of capital is 4.67%. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like it. Thank you for watching.